Hello YouTube, hello boys and girls, I'm Morphin and you're watching my Lepidus campaign. We are trying to conquer and hold the Iberia. After that, probably a Western Europe and North Africa. Before I start, I would like to say that I have realized that I was a little bit too passive because there's only already 20 turns or even more that have passed and I still didn't make uh, any significant progress. Only thing that I did is improvement of my provinces. I'm trying to work on my income, but you can see that it's still quite low because I need some time for my settlements to grow and for the wealth of every region to grow. I was thinking about how should I organize my provinces. Hispania, you can check out the settlements Alright, so these are the settlements of Hispania. This will definitely be my military province. I will recruit a navy. I am planning to fight a huge naval battles. Start recruitment of the real naval vessels, real ships that will actually be used in a battle. Because I was neglecting a navy in a previous playthroughs. So I will try to play with a navy a little bit more than before. So in Hispania... Oh, I can't, don't have enough cash for a workshop. But alright, I will build it in the next turn. Let's cancel the Shrine of Jupiter, actually. And build a workshop here. I will build a Shrine of Mars. I will build a Shrine of Mars. This will be the province for the recruitment of land and naval units. All other provinces that I have will be for the economy. And of course Africa is quite large so I will try to mix things up over here I will have some uh, some buildings for the recruitment of the army but on the other side in all these other settlements I can easily work on my economy I am bordering Antony Pompey and I have quite good access to Octavian's Rome I can even plan an invasion directly to the Rome directly to the Roma so Africa is a really important province on the other side Hispania is quite close to the Western Europe quite close to the Pompey's Rome so it is a perfect for the recruitment of Navy but on the other side I also must have an access to land units because if Octavians decides to attack me I'm quite sure that this will be the place where first attacks will happen Let's move my spy up over here and see what they have inside. By the way, I must say that I have lowered down my graphical settings. Because even when I push those settings a bit up, graphics are still bad because I have quite bad graphic card. NVIDIA GTX 460. I'm planning to buy another one. It will definitely be one of the high-end graphic cards. So you can expect uh, ultra graphics really soon. I already have some cash in a reserve, but it's not enough. It's not enough. So I'm saving for a much better graphic card than I have now. And I'm sure that we all will enjoy in a much better graphics. I have lowered down the settings because when I'm recording quite often, I can feel the lag. And I think that bad graphics uh, are not such a big problem as lag is for you as my viewer I I think that you should not see my game lagging no matter how graphic settings are good or bad uh, I'm I'm changing the generals here because this general or already have some gravitas 23 gravitas and two ambition he was fighting some battles while this second general have only 8 gravitas and 3 ambition. So I switch those two. And I will try to level up this second general a bit more. Ready for battle. We hunger for battle. Alright, so moving this guy. Is it the right guy? Yeah. Let's move him over here. Closer to the North Africa. My Iberian friends are doing something. I don't know why. 
But we will see. This is the province that will revolt next turn. I have public order of minus 98, so I should watch for rebellions. I'm not sure where it will happen. I have removed the taxes, so I cannot save this province at all. Let's, let's bring back the taxes and at least earn some cash. We hunger for battle. I hope that my Iberian friends will help me to fight the rebels and I can end the turn right now I don't have enough cash for more by the way I definitely must work on improving my income I definitely must improve my income it's really low and I have huge amounts of settlements which should grow by time let's end the turn so yeah, I'm planning to make this campaign a bit more active, play a bit more aggressive and I will definitely build a large, large navy and fight Pompey's Rome. Because I was always neglecting an importance of navy and naval battles, so I will try to correct that in this campaign. By the way, I must say that I they want a non-aggression pack, alright, let's accept it. I must say that I feel a bit sorry for starting this campaign on a normal difficulty. Yeah, that's it. First settlement lost and lost by rebels. Quite a shame. Yeah, uh, I feel a little bit sorry because I have started this campaign on a normal difficulty. Because I'm a really... I really have a long history in playing Total War games. I have around... 1200 hours playing Shogun 2 I'm not so experienced with Rome 2 I have only 136 hours but I'm reading a lot and watching some other recordings on YouTube so I think that I have some basic understanding of the game and I think I, sh I could do it much better and what I have realized is that people you, my viewers really likes to see harder campaigns on a harder difficulty settings and playing on normal just don't get so much attention if you take a look at the first recording in this playlist you have annotation in the upper left corner for a full playlist you can see that first recording have huge amount of views while second one have three times less and i think the only reason for that is a difficulty setting I should play this campaign on a hard or very hard or even legendary. I, to, to be honest, I don't like legendary because on legendary I have two large buffs while I have the buffs and it is just not balanced. Legendary is a new difficulty mod that we get that we get since the Shogun 2. Before the Shogun 2 we didn't have a legendary maximum difficulty setting was very hard and I think that's quite fine very hard difficulty setting is really good on legendary you you should use some gamey tactics and I will not say cheat but use dirty tricks because I have huge huge buffs and only way to win a campaign is to plan every single movement point you don't have to waste a, a, a single coin, a single movement point, and I think it's a too much pressure for the player. So playing on a very hard, I promise you that every next campaign that I will do will be done in, on a very hard difficulty setting. Please post your comments down below, what do you think about playing or watching campaigns on a normal difficulty? Do you like it or not? And would you like to see me playing on a very hard? That's one thing that I am really interested in. I lost an access to marble. I lost Aracillum. I will get it back, that's for sure. Hidden agent exposed. Faction arises. All right. So I'm working on improvement of the income, but also trying to build up the army. I 
I don't know why, but take a look at this. I cannot build a workshop in settlements. I can build a workshop only in province capital. That's quite strange, to be honest. Quite strange. No, I will. No, I will. I will not waste the cash. Let's leave the practice field here and build up the industry. I have enough time. I have enough time before developing Africa into a military province. My focus should be in Iberia, Western Europe. Let's get back what it's mine. March. You have further orders? Advance! Waiting for more orders. You can see that I have a workshop in a province capital, but I cannot build it in a settlement, which is quite strange. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Alright, let's move this agent up over here in a border of Hispania because I can recruit good units in Hispania and let's build some naval vessels before Pompey decides to attack me not enough cash alright let's wait let's wait a turn or two And I have decided that I will let Tingis revolt because it is not important for me. I don't have enough units over here to fight the culture influence from these nomadic tribes here. So if it go, if it revolts, let it be. Moving my dignitaries in more important regions. And now I can end my turn. Let's try to trade with with Egypt. Be welcome, but may Athena. Nope. They don't want it. I think why? Trade a bad why? Idea. Let's see why. We do not want simple folk to be Why? 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 Cultural aversion, expansionism. What they like? Treaties with Egypt, past treaties with Antony's Rome. They like Antony Rome. Let's make some treaties with Antony if I can. Maybe you a non-aggression pact. But that wealth you seek a good marriage uh, with us. All right, and let's try to make a client state out of those nomadic tribes welcome, here. Friend. Let us conclude uh, our business with good haste and then enjoy the pleasures of this house. Make client state? No, they will not accept. We are not all right, let's end the turn. By the way, I'm not sure should I declare war on Iberia and conquer those settlements here so i have a full control under the iberia currently they are my client state and my good trade partner so maybe i should not attack them but instead atta attack octavian's rome and after octavian move my focus to north africa and try to fight those nomadic tribes in uh, in a few turns i will probably have enough cash to rise and maintain two large armies currently i cannot allow myself to have two full stack of units so i cannot stretch myself too much i can attack only with one army until my income gets higher alliance broken alliance with octavian's rome and antony i think that i have defensive alliance but it's broken rebellion imminent uh, Ludi Plebi, what's this? Plus 20% wealth from culture, plus 4 public order per turn, exactly what I need, exactly what I need. War declared between Octavian and Cantabri and Octavian and Antony. It seems like Octavian is quite active. And I think I could change my edicts right now. I think I could change my edicts. A trading port gives huge amounts of cash, but it's quite expensive. So let's improve other other settlements first. Right, that 
that's it for now. I have just enough cash for recruitment of assault quadrim. This one is cheaper for upkeep. So let's build that one first. And time to attack Cantabri. <laughs> Empty promise. All right, let's uh, let's 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 occupy. Let's occupy. My buildings are still here. Right, uh, let's now see what Iberia can offer well, to me. Let friend. Sit and let your Maybe let's ask them for a payment. As you wish of them. No, they don't want to gift me. I will be a patient audience for you. No, all right. Non aggression pact. I will do you the honor. Of we are they don't want to be my client state. Come, my friend, speak. We are men of words, and so serve our peoples with honor. Asking for some gifts, but no one want to gift me. Why? 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 Befits your reputation. Now, I always. I am honored to receive this embassy. My people are wealthy in intellect and do not need your goods to add to their material. Alright, I need to defeat this army first and then I will pull back and recruit more units from Hispania. Next turn I will have manipular barracks which means that I can recruit a legionary cavalry. I must rise the income. I must rise my income. Currently is at 3500. Let's check out my dignitaries. Move one into the Africa. And second one. Move up into Taraconesis. I do enjoy a well kept I live to I will make them a how can I be of assistance? What do you wish of me? Whoa! Observing the enemy. Ah, quite weak army, much weaker than mine. Mercenary Italian Spearman. All right, let's end the turn. I'm not sure do you like whoa where did they came from who are those those guys probably are a, 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 a rebels I'm not sure do you like hearts of iron series but recently I have started a hearts of iron 3 with all expansions and I have recorded in a such a way that you can easily learn from it I must say that I'm really really satisfied with the way I did it. Maybe first recording is um, a bit boring but that's only an introductional video. But next two, three and four videos that I have released I must say that I'm really really satisfied with that and if you want to learn the Heart of Iron 3 if there you are a beginner or even so speak the wise a mediocre player feel free to check that uh, let's play i'm quite sure that you can learn a lot of good stuff and have some fun watching because i'm playing the game and explaining slowly what am i doing and why am i doing i didn't record a long long tutorial where, I, where i'm spamming you with tons of information and then you will forget about everything out of all those info you usually forget huge part of it but i'm playing the game slowly and explaining each step that i do so if you're still watching this recording if you didn't turn it off and found me boring and turn off the 
browser and go watch something else if you're still watching this video i am really recommending you to check out my hearts of iron series i'm quite satisfied with it that's the reason i'm talking about it uh, subject gains notoriety infamy your daughter her behavior make her become a priest all right a uh, population surplus in baetica do I have some cash for improvements? Look at this. I have to pay 2600. This building will be done in 5 turns. And only difference is 80 wealth. 80 wealth. Economy in Rome 2 is quite strange. Really, really strange. I definitely recommend you to upgrade the cheap buildings first. Look at this. I will get 75 wealth and 75 wealth and two food for 2600. I will get two public court. Ah, it's the same. It's the same. Let's uh, build a forum in Baetica. Yeah, workshop can only be done built in province capitals quite strange all right public forum to work on a public order i need cash i need cash i need cash i need cash i made a shortcut because i was thinking about the upgrades and I didn't want to waste your precious time household expands uh, plus one to cunning statesman uh, let's replace it construction report character trait report corrupt who is corrupt corrupted are you corrupted man why 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 Minus 2% tax rate. Mmm, mršerem ti majku da ti jebe majku. Koja budala je. Sorry guys. Alright. Minus 5% tax rate, minus 2% tax rate. That's minus 7% tax rate. I must kill this guy. Can I kill this guy? Can I kill him somehow? How can I kill this man? He's crazy. He's killing me. He's killing me. Let's see. Minus 4, minus 2 tax rate. Minus 5 tax rate. Man, that's minus 7% tax rate. Ships built. Alright. Let's check out this one. Is this one better? I want you to rise the taxes, no lower, not lower them down. Who are those guys? Celtic rebels. Bye bye. Military traditions and general also increases in rank. Let's go with authority. Somehow I like authority for the generals. I, li I really do. Right now he is at 10 gravitas. Let's move back into the settlement. And keeping public order under control, but it's quite hard at this moment. Not enough cash for all other improvements that I want to do. Let's end the turn.
So, what do you think about playing the game on a normal difficulty? Should I play more very hard games? I, I even thinking about starting one more Shogun 2 campaign. Currently I'm playing Iko Iki, but also on a normal difficulty. Man, I have 1200 hours, 1200 hours playing Shogun 2 and I'm playing on a normal difficulty. Unbelievable. What is this? Uh -huh. One of your family members is being blackmailed. Do nothing. I don't have enough cash to pay that. Child of Phil. Oh, plus 25 senators. Right, my influence is rising. Civil war. I have enough shrines here and I don't have more cash. I think I should definitely attack the Iberia and take over the settlement, but they're my good trade partners. But let's take Taraconesis at least. I think they have one large army somewhere in my territory. Yeah, no, I will not attack them. I will I will I will stay together with them. I don't wanna attack no, but I should attack Octavian, that's for sure. I should attack Octavian. Yeah, I will definitely attack Octavian in the next few turns. Building up the navy, just as I promised. Spy increases in rank, Ludi Romani. Plus four Latin culture, plus four public order per turn. Wow, that's good. That's good, that's good. That's good. Uh, let's level up the spy. And let's try to use him. 86% in sight and rest. I need authority. To incite unrest so I will definitely I will definitely rise authority skill look at this they already have auxiliary barracks level 3 I should definitely attack them I must attack them I must attack them I must attack those guys Ready, willing, and able. Now I can move this army backwards and start the recruitment of two extra cavalry units that I need. No, 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 no. I will disband two units of Velites. 
so I can recruit two units of cavalry and two units of ballista but 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 I should end the recording because it is already quite long I forgot to give the order for this dignitary over there this recording is quite long already I'm not sure for how much but I'm aiming at the length of 15 to 20 minutes 25 minutes maximum but around 15 to 20 minutes is something that I consider good so I will end the recording thank you for watching guys uh, please if you are still watching think about my question what do you think about starting the games on a normal difficulty would you like me to play more games on a very hard because I'm sure that I can do it but somehow I never remember to do it uh, you can post your comments on my Facebook page also. You can find a link to my Facebook page in the description. Or you can post a comment down below in a YouTube comment section. Thank you for watching guys one more time. Until the next time, I wish you all the best and bye bye.